Hello, I'm Robert with WordPress Rocket. In this tutorial, I'll be going over creating custom WooCommerce websites with Beaver Builder and WP Types toolset. For this tutorial, you'll need Beaver Builder plugin, toolset types, toolset views, You'll need the beta 2.2 or higher, and also you'll need toolset WooCommerce views. So in your dashboard, in toolset, go to WooCommerce views, and right here in product template file, we're going to select this here. This sets the software so WordPress will use the toolset product template file. And we'll do the same for the product archive template and this is for your shop, your WooCommerce shop. So we'll select it, save all settings. I want to add some custom fields to my WooCommerce products so I'll do that here in post fields and I'll add a new post field group I'll call it custom woo product fields. That's better. Save field group. So now I have that set and I'll add some new fields. I'll add in a single line here. I'm going to call it video embed code it's a single line so I can put enter video embed code here all right, and I'll check allow multiple instances of this field in case you want to add more than one video. And I'll put save field group, and I'll add one more. I'll select multiple lines. I'll call it product testimonial. I'll put enter testimonial here. I'll set this to a repeating field. If you know you're only ever going to set one, then you can just leave it to its default here. I'll go ahead and set it to a repeating field and I'll save it. I'm going to add a category to the products. I'm going to call this category guitars, add new product category. So now I'll go back to my post fields, edit. I'm going to set where these custom fields I created appear, where to include this field group, edit. I'm going to select products, product categories, guitars. I'm going to select apply save field group. Now when I create a product, if that product is created under the guitars category, custom fields will be available. I'll add a product. I'll call it Rock Guitar 1. I've unchecked some of these boxes here just to unclutter the edit page for this tutorial. If I scroll down here, here are the custom fields that I've added, the video embed code and the product testimonial. And I have my repeater field buttons here if I want to add more. I'm going to change the name of this product. It's a model name for a particular guitar in ESP Eclipse. Coming down here to embed video code. I've just gone into YouTube and I've gotten an embed code for this video here. I'm going to copy that and I'm going to paste it here in my video embed code. And I'll type in a testimonial here. 
I'll add in some of the other product details here like images, price, things like that. No need to waste time here on this video for standard WooCommerce procedure. I filled in the information for the product fields. The post content is actually the product description and I've entered a product image, some product gallery images. I have the code for the YouTube video iframe and in the products testimonial here I've actually entered a short code that is generated by the testimonial showcase plugin. That's this one here. In the product testimonial here, I could have added a field for an image and a name and as I did before manually type in a testimonial and do it that way. Or I could have even in toolset made my own custom post type for testimonials and entered the short code for that here as well. In the product data meta box, I've added some very basic information. I've added a price and on the shipping I've added the weights and the dimensions of the product and I've added a product short description as well. So let's take a look at how this looks. And it's not looking too good. The reason why is because we have to build a content template for this. Earlier in the tutorial we set our product template file to be set by the WooCommerce Views plugin. So let's set it back to the default WooCommerce plugin template. I'll save it. And now you see the basic WooCommerce product page layout. So the images that I've used for my product image and the product gallery, they're actually rectangular. They're wide images and WooCommerce is displaying my images as square. So I'll adjust that in WooCommerce settings products display. And down here in product images, I changed the sizes here and I've unchecked the hard crop because the images that I'm using are wide. Anytime that you change these values here, you'll want to regenerate your thumbnails. So I've installed a plugin, Force Regenerate Thumbnails, and it's available from the WordPress plugin directory, Force Regenerate Thumbnails. So once you've installed it, it's in Tools, Force Regenerate Thumbnails, press Regenerate All Thumbnails. So once it's done, 100%, and now you see our images are the proper aspect ratio and they're not being cropped. One other thing is I've also adjusted the CSS on these little thumbnails here to also match the aspect ratio of the images. And that's this little bit of CSS I have here. So now we'll make our custom WooCommerce layout in Beaver Builder. So in WooCommerce Views, we'll have to set the WooCommerce product template file to use the Views plugin default single product template. Check this here. Save all settings. And finally, what we've been waiting for, we're going to make our content template in Beaver Builder. So create your first content template. I'm going to call it Beaver commerce product. I'll assign it to products. I'll create the content template. In the edit content template I'll select Beaver Builder, launch page builder. I'll just cancel this and up here I'm going to select the EC1001FR. I'll start by adding my product title. Once I click in here, this little orange ball appears. And here I can see all of my fields and views short codes I have available. So I'll start with the post title. I'll leave the defaults and create short code. Save for style. I'll go with H1. Center it. I'll use a custom font size, 50. I'll save it. 
I have a sticky header here so I need to add some margin to this row. I'll add the top margin of 140. Save that. I'll add the product image and I'll select the text editor and right here in fields and views WooCommerce product image I'm using the beta so it's having some problems here but I found a workaround I'm sure this will be resolved in the next version but meanwhile I have a workaround well, here is my beta workaround tool set content templates add new content template I'm going to name this temp I'll assign it to pages but I won't apply it to any page items because I'm just using this as a temporary template to get the short code I need create content template and in here I'm gonna stick with basic fields and views WooCommerce product image and here I can select my options I'll choose large image size and I'll check this here to show my thumbnails and here show image gallery thumbnails in product listings I'm going to check this insert code so I'll copy this go back to my WooCommerce product content template and paste it in here. I'll save that and there you go. I'll save my work done publish changes I'll copy this URL here and I'll paste it here so I noticed on my rendered page that I had this very huge gap here between the bottom of my header and the top of my title. So I'll remove the top margin I added earlier. I'll set this to zero. Now you see the title is up under the header here. But when I publish my changes and I look at the actual rendered page, it looks fine. That has to do with the sticky header I made in Dynamic, so you don't have to worry about that unless you're also using a similar sticky header. I'll go back and edit my content template. Launch Page Builder. And I'm going to give my image row a background color. it's set to black I'm going to go with the full width row setting and you notice nothing has changed and I'll publish it Let me look at the results. And it's the same here. So our full width rows aren't working. This is a beta version of the software. So this is one of the things I'll report to get resolved. But meanwhile, I've written some CSS. This code right here. So I'll remove the commenting. save my changes and now you can see we have a nice full width row so let's edit our content template and it's also working here too so I'll change the row background I'm going to add a photo I'll add some background overlay and I've set the opacity to 70 percent and I'm actually going to bring the product title into this row here so I'll drag it in 
I don't need this other row anymore so I'll just delete it and I'll change the color of the title it's hard to see behind this sticky header style color white and there you see it back there and I can also select a different font I'll save that publish my changes let's have a look refresh my page I notice my content isn't going up underneath my header here I'll adjust the CSS to fix that I'll just remove it save that now I can see it's underneath the header but I'll have to add some padding here so I'll edit content template I'll add some padding 120 pixels done publish changes have a look and there it is looking good so that's quite a bit of difference from what we have here I'll add the other elements of the WooCommerce product page into our content template edit content template launch beaver builder I've noticed that my images here are lining up to the left and I would like them center aligned so in the template editor I've given this row a class ID of photo row so I've written some CSS for that and that's this here I'll uncomment it now everything is lined up much nicer I've also modified some of the CSS I've added in earlier it's the CSS I added for the full width rows what I've done is I've added to the classes the single product class and the single view template class what this does it makes it so that this CSS only affects single product pages and the template view editor for single product pages I did this because I noticed that this CSS was affecting other pages this is beta software these issues will be worked out but meanwhile these are good workarounds back in the template page editor I'll add two columns place a text editor in one of the columns I'll add some text product details and I'll give this a heading of H3 I'll save that I'll duplicate this one I'll change the text demo video save that I'll add another text editor here in the first column I'll click on fields and views I'm going to add in the post excerpt insert code save that this is the short description for the product details I'll add another text editor in my second column fields and views again this time custom woo product fields down here I'll add the video embed code insert short code save add content text editor fields and views WooCommerce product price save that add content again text editor fields and views WooCommerce add to cart button single product page and we see here that nothing happens so we'll use our beta workaround we'll go to our temporary content template where we're using basic I'll clear this out fields and views again add to cart button single product page you have the option here of adding your own text to the button I'll leave it as add to cart insert short code I'll copy this come back over here paste it in 
save and this beta version of the software not everything renders out here but we know that it's here and we can see the short code for the button buy button once again add content row layout one column text editor fields and views custom woocommerce product fields product testimonial insert short code I'll center this, save, and we see that the image for the testimonial is way over to the left. It will render the page correctly. So let's publish this and take a look at it. Refresh the page. So everything is looking good. I'll give the price and the add to cart button some styling later to make it look great with the rest of the theme. Back to our edit content template. I'll add the product tabs on the bottom. Basic module, text editor, fields and views, product tabs. Once again, we have the same problem with the beta software, so we'll use our workaround. Go back to our temporary template, fields and views, WooCommerce, product tab, single product page. I'll leave the defaults. There's something here about do you want to disable reviews tab, but I'll leave it as it is. Insert short code, copy it, go back over here paste it in here save again you don't see it here but you will see it in the rendered page done publish changes refresh our page and here we see our tabs I'll go to the top of the page and I've noticed something strange has happened here with our images as soon as I added the tabs, our product images got a lot smaller here. So it's only allowing a maximum width of 48% as soon as we added the tabs. But again, nothing a little CSS can't fix. The release software should have all of these issues resolved. But for now, it's this here. I'll uncomment this. And you can see everything's looking great again. Now that we've created our content template and we've assigned it to the products here with this setting. So any products that we make are going to use this content template here. And I've gone ahead and added another product, and you can see that it's using the same content template. So we've really come a long way in this tutorial. We've gone from this to this. And we've only scratched the surface of what's possible. I hope you've enjoyed this tutorial. My name is Robert Monroe Turner with WordPress Rocket. I am a WordPress website designer and developer. My contact information is on my website. You can hire me to help you make your next WordPress website a great success. In part two of this tutorial, we'll be creating a custom shop page for WooCommerce. Thank you for watching this video.